Hi guys, so let's now just take a look at return on capital employed as a ratio. Now, this ratio, as with all ratios, is best used when it comes to actually comparing intra-firm comparisons between competitors or comparing periods most likely within the same company to see how well the company is performing. It tells us what sort of return is generated, of course, on the capital employed in the business. Of course, any investor will expect to actually generate returns on the capital they invest into the business. Okay, so capital is invested into the business to generate profitable returns, obviously. ROCE measures the return on capital as a percentage of the capital employed. It's also known as the primary efficiency ratio, and the reason for that is because it's so effective in actually helping us to understand the efficiency with which capital is managed to generate that net profit before interest and tax. Okay, so let's uh, just take a uh, little look at uh, the calculation here. Uh, so ROCE equals the net profit before interest and tax divided by the capital employed multiplied through by 100. Uh, so once again, it's a nice straightforward uh, a nice straightforward ratio to actually apply. Uh, what's interesting about this is that you can see that the net profit figure will come from the statement of comprehensive income, whereas uh, your capital employed will come from your balance sheet or your statement of financial position. Okay, so it does require information from two separate uh, pieces of uh, financial accounts for the company. So we've got a nice straightforward example to consider. Uh, now we've got net profit here of 25,000. Let's just put this through. So we've got 25,000 divided by 150,000 pounds. So we divide that by 150. Then we multiply through by 100. And in terms of our actual return that we generate, we then uh, generate, I believe, a 16.6% return on capital employed. Okay, so that's interesting stuff. Um, now, what's really relevant is when we compare it to the previous period, which might be 20%. So what does that tell us? Well, it's likely to indicate that net profit may well have actually uh, been reduced and therefore the business is less efficient in actually generating a return on the capital that's employed within that business. Alternatively, it could actually suggest to us that uh, the capital employed has actually gone up as an overall figure, but net profit has remained roughly the same. Uh, really, we need to break down the accounts a little bit further to understand exactly what is taking place. Uh, either way, we would certainly want to improve this ratio here to get it back up in line with 20%. Now, if you just think about what this actually illustrates here, every pound that's invested into the business generates a 20p or a 20% return. Now every pound only generates a 16.6 or a 16.6p return uh, on that investment. Okay, so how can we improve this? Uh, so how to... Uh, really improve ROCE. Let's uh, just take a little look at what we've got. Um, well, first up, the first thing we can focus on doing is, of course, raising net profit. So if net profit goes up, then that's going to be great news. All right, so number one, uh, increase your net profit. You want that net profit to increase. If net profit increases, your ROCE is likely to increase. Now, remember, Net profit is, of course, derived from uh, gross profit minus your expenses there. Okay, now, um, in so doing, uh, and that's obviously not including the other income that could actually be earned there, but uh, here we've got gross profit minus expenses. If you're able to cut down those expenses, you'll be able to actually improve that overall net profit. If you're able to increase that gross profit by reducing the cost of sales, likewise you will see an improvement. Okay, and number two, the alternative uh, approach is to sell off any unused assets and use assets and capital more efficiently so you're ensured that you're using any idle money balances that you might have in bank balances or idle machinery is being sold off and turned into cash so that you can reinvest that money into the business. Okay, so anything to actually reduce or improve the efficiency uh, of capital employed.
okay? Uh, it's going to uh, be really powerful here. So we've got two key areas, okay? So to improve the efficiency of the capital employed in the business, to ensure really that you're not just sat on big bank balances with a lot of cash in that. Right, guys, there we go. Nice and straightforward. See you next time.